Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. VirtualBox vs. VMware Ultimate Hacking Lab Showdown Are you setting up a hacking lab and can't decide between VirtualBox and VMware? Trust me, I get it. Choosing the right platform can feel like navigating a digital maze. But don't worry, we're about to break it all down comparing these two heavyweights side by side so you can pick the perfect platform for your hacking needs. We'll be looking at everything from how easy they are to install and set up, to their performance when you're really pushing those virtual machines, all the way to the special features and tools that make each one unique. Because let's be real, in the world of cybersecurity, having a smooth and powerful virtualization experience is key. Let's get started. Are you setting up a hacking lab and can't decide between VirtualBox and VMware? Let's break it down. Round 1 Installation and Setup First impressions matter. All right, let's kick things off with the first hurdle, getting these platforms up and running on your system. Now, VirtualBox, being the open source option, prides itself on accessibility. You can download it across Windows, Mac OS, Linux. It's like the multi-platform champ. The installation process is pretty straightforward, like a typical software installation wizard. You just click next, next, finish, and boom, you're pretty much good to go. VMware, on the other hand, comes in a few different flavors. You've got VMware Workstation Pro, which is more geared towards professionals. And then there's VMware Fusion for my Mac OS users out there. Now, VMware's installation process is also pretty user-friendly, but it can be a tad bit more involved than VirtualBox, especially if you're customizing installation options. But honestly, both platforms have really streamlined their installation processes over the years. I remember back in the day, setting up a virtual machine used to feel like a coding project in itself. But now, it's pretty much a breeze. You'll be up and running in no time. However, there is one key difference to keep in mind. VirtualBox, being the open source hero, is completely free to use. That's right, no subscription fees, no hidden costs, totally free. VMware, on the other hand, operates on a paid license model. Now, they do offer a free trial for you to test the waters, but after that, you'll need to shell out some cash to keep using it. So, in terms of first impressions, VirtualBox definitely takes the lead with its universal accessibility and that unbeatable free price tag. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. VMware might have a few tricks up its sleeve, right? Let's move on to the next round and see how these platforms stack up when it comes to performance. Round 2 Performance Can your virtual machines keep up? Now let's talk speed. When it comes to performance and resource usage, things get a little more interesting. See, VirtualBox, while being super accessible, can sometimes feel a bit sluggish, especially when you're running resource-intensive applications inside your virtual machines. It's like trying to run a marathon on a half-charged battery. You'll get there, but it might take a while. VMware, on the other hand, tends to edge out VirtualBox in the performance department. It's like it's been hitting the gym, optimizing its code, and fine-tuning its resource management. You'll notice smoother performance, faster boot times, and overall, a more responsive experience, especially when you're running demanding applications or multiple virtual machines simultaneously. But here's the thing, the actual performance you get from either platform depends heavily on your system's specs. If you're rocking a beast of a machine with a powerful processor, tons of RAM, and a super fast SSD, you might not even notice a huge difference between VirtualBox and VMware. However, if you're working with a more modest setup, like I know a lot of us are, then those performance optimizations that VMware brings to the table can actually make a noticeable difference in your day-to-day -day workflow. Think of it like this. VirtualBox is like that reliable daily driver that gets you from point A to point B. It's not the flashiest or the fastest, but it gets the job done. VMware, on the other hand, is like that sporty coupe. It's all about performance, responsiveness, and that extra oomph when you need it. So in the performance round, VMware takes the lead. But remember, the actual experience will vary depending on your system's capabilities. Chapter 3 Alright, let's dive into the features and tools that make these platforms tick. VirtualBox, in true open source fashion, provides a solid set of core features. You can create and manage virtual machines, configure networking, and even take snapshots to save your progress. All the essentials for a basic hacking lab setup. But VMware steps it up a notch, offering a more comprehensive suite of tools and advanced features. 
One of my favorites is VMware's snapshot and cloning capabilities. They're incredibly useful for cybersecurity tasks, allowing you to create multiple copies of your virtual machines for testing different attack scenarios without affecting your original setup. And speaking of security, VMware offers some robust security features, like encryption for your virtual machines and restrictions on sharing virtual machine data. These features are particularly important in a hacking lab environment where security is paramount. Now, VirtualBox does have its own set of security features, but they might not be as extensive or as user-friendly as VMware's offerings. And let's not forget about VMware's support for snapshots, which is a lifesaver when you're experimenting with different hacking techniques and need to revert to a previous state. Plus, VMware integrates seamlessly with other VMware products and services, creating a more unified ecosystem. So, if you're already using other VMware tools, integrating VMware Workstation or Fusion into your workflow is super smooth. So, in the Features and Tools round, VMware takes the lead again with its more comprehensive suite of offerings, especially those geared towards security and advanced virtualization management. Chapter 4 Now let's talk about community support. This is where things get interesting. VirtualBox, being the open source champion, has a massive and passionate community behind it. Think of it like a global network of tech enthusiasts, developers, and fellow hackers, all willing to share their knowledge and help you troubleshoot any issues you might encounter. You'll find tons of forums, online communities, and documentation dedicated to VirtualBox, making it easy to find answers to your questions or connect with other users who've probably faced similar challenges. It's like having a virtual support group for all your VirtualBox needs. VMware, on the other hand, relies more on its official support channels and documentation. While their support is generally quite good, it might not have that same level of community-driven problem-solving that you find with VirtualBox. However, VMware does offer paid support options for those who need more dedicated assistance. So, if you're working on a critical project and need guaranteed support, VMware has you covered. But honestly, both platforms have a decent amount of resources available online. Whether you prefer scouring through forums and community threads, or relying on official documentation, you'll find plenty of help for both VirtualBox and VMware. So in the community support round, it's a bit of a tie. VirtualBox shines with its vast and active community, while VMware provides more structured support through its official channels. Chapter 5 Alright, let's break down the pros and cons of each platform to help you make an informed decision. VirtualBox, our open source contender, rocks the house with its price. It's completely free. Plus, it's incredibly accessible, running on pretty much any operating system you can throw at it. And let's not forget that massive and supportive community always ready to lend a helping hand. However, VirtualBox can sometimes feel a bit sluggish, especially when compared to VMware's performance. And while its feature set is decent, it might not be as comprehensive as VMware's, especially when it comes to advanced features and security options. Now, VMware, our premium contender, shines with its performance optimizations, making it a powerhouse for running demanding applications and multiple virtual machines. It also boasts a more comprehensive suite of features, including advanced security options and seamless integration with other VMware products. However, that premium performance and those extra features come at a price, literally. VMware operates on a paid license model, so you'll need to shell out some cash to keep using it after the trial period. And while its official support is good, it might not have that same level of community-driven problem-solving that you find with VirtualBox. So, which one should you choose for your hacking lab? If you're on a tight budget and value accessibility and community support above all else, VirtualBox is a solid choice. But if you need top-notch performance, advanced features, and don't mind paying for a premium experience, VMware is the way to go. So there you have it, VirtualBox and VMware, two virtualization titans, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Ultimately, the best choice for your hacking lab depends on your specific needs, budget, and priorities. Do you prioritize accessibility in a thriving community? Or are you all about that raw performance and those advanced features? No matter which platform you choose, remember that the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. So stay curious, keep experimenting, and never stop learning.
And hey, if you want to see more tech comparisons like this, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Which one will you choose for your hacking lab? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech comparisons.